How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. And what is most likely going to be the final part of the series. So we ended off here. Last time we got the final piece of the Monkey King armor, which was the staff. It is a five-piece set. Um, so we are heading out further... And I'm stuck. Uh, further along through the mountain. Now we fought Erlang in the last one, uh, so honestly, I am not sure who the final boss is going to be. Are we going to fight, like, Wukong himself? Not sure. I honestly thought Erlang would have been the final boss. Hey guys. Oh. Oh, this. The stance is different with the staff. Look at the. Look at the reach with that. That's the only. That's my only stance, too. Wow. So it's like a exclusive like Wukong stance apparently. What's up guys? I don't think you want any of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Didn't even need to lock on to you guys. floor with these punks. Looks like you want any of this, boys? Is there another path over here? No, there won't. Okay. This is awesome. Tell you that that fight with Earth Lang was said it in the episode it was incredible. Keep thinking about it, it was unbelievable. <laughs> get him, Baji, get him. Yeah, I'll take the free XP here. It's interesting that that attack was a pillar stance move. Damn, I'm just like doing yard work at this point, just <laughs> whacking weeds.
That music. That music, too. Oh, guys. You don't know what you're getting into, do you? Guys are just free XP and will right now. Tons of you guys, yeah. here looks like or not oh no right here where'd you come from sorry i missed you scrubs This way, I think. What it looks like. Yeah, I'm sure the final boss will be no joke, though. So, I am sure we're in for a fight. Erlang wasn't too bad, it was just a matter of kind of learning his trickery where you could get opportunities to get damage in, take down this block meter. journey it has been. This game has been <laughs> much longer than I ever thought possible, but was a uh, definitely a, a great journey. Wasn't feeling the boss rush early on, but definitely got used to the game and ended up really enjoying it, which I'm glad, I mean after four years of anticipation but it's something that was truly incredible which I thought it was going to be first time I saw it teased back in 2020 or 2018 or whatever it was Maybe you should have a closer look. Here we go. Hmm. 
You're here. We're here. Step aboard. Hey, old monkey. I hope this isn't a one-way trip, is it? <laughs> isn't all life a one-way trip? Once you embark on the journey, there's no turning back. Hmm. Isn't that true? Ah. What is this place? His memories. Hmm. Nice like him, whatever it is. Since his early days, he'd had an eye for the finer things and the will to wrest them from others. Laying his eyes on, then craving to seize their riches. No better than the black bear and ginger, I say. He can't have an eye for the finer things while the Buddha oversees the three realms. Well, I hardly think that's fair. <laughs> How insatiable. Not content with his kingdom and title below, he asked for a position in the Celestial Court. But soon after his wish was granted, his joy turned to rage, all because he wasn't invited to a feast. He nearly ruined the entire Celestial Palace. <sighs> Years fume at unfavorable news. As untamed and ungrateful as that yellow rat. Well, beasts are beasts, don't you think? He was young. He didn't know any better. Hadn't learned from the Buddha or our master yet. Aren't you being a bit harsh? Dredging up the scandals from his youth? Like his adulthood was any better. Since his release, he had claimed to have learned manners and discipline. Yet his weep, Frank and Cheche gave him away. <sighs> Posing as an idol, he degraded the gods. Clear was his defiance of the doctrines he had learned. Well, he was just being naughty. <laughs> Aren't all great achievers somewhat self-obsessed? Myself included. <laughs> Nose in the air, feeling above others. I say he was no less insolent than that yellow brow brat. Wait, isn't it that. that lady of some sort? Hmm. <laughs> it was her tricks that made Master drive Wukong away. Oh, yeah, I forget On white what that was. Ridge, he forsook his love. Three times he broke her into pieces, convincing himself his heart would ache no more. Yet, as you must know, he had never let go of her. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't have been so eager to get away from the Buddhahood he attained. Those who talk much of love will one day bite their tongues. <laughs> On this matter, he was akin to you and your many darlings. No matter where you are, you'd always fall captive to the web of mortal desire. Why bring me into this? True, I don't have the wits to break the web, but he had torn his way out since that day. Yeah. <sighs> Take a look, Bajir. Can you see? Yeah. Many of your good friends are here. We're just fair-weather friends, that's all. But they are still friends, aren't they? <laughs> so you say, so it must be. These old buddies. I think none of them ended up well. Indeed. For ages, countless gifted souls have walked this earth. Yet of them, how few have forged everlasting greatness. Do you know why? Injustice? 
Never has it been just. Misfortune? Fortune is simply humility in the mighty. Well, mayhaps. They simply lacked my charm. <laughs> <laughs> Gifted they may be, yet strive they not. Content with little and lost in lust. Seek the ease, yet crave the renown. They yearn for freedom, yet aspire to Buddhahood. They always want both, yet nobody can and nobody should. Such was the folly of the Bull King and Wukong. Destiny's favor calls for the resolution to sever all desires. You should mark well these words. Hold on. This can't be Wukong's memory. You're fooling us, aren't you? Ah, five of the six relics call for one. Ajay, tell me which. Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Mind, it's mind. What did you just see? The three of us? That was the last one. Oh, I see now. It was you. I knew it from the beginning. You were the mind of Wukong all along. That's why you led us here. Not me. It's him. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Him? He is Wukong. Yes and no. Cut to the chase, will you? We didn't come this far for your riddles. <sighs> After Wukong died, Five of his six senses endured and were taken by the Yao Guai kings. Only his mind was lost. Mind is the first of the six. It's the essence unique to every life. Therefore, it's destined to fade away at life's end. Hold on. You mean Wukong's gone for good, never to return? You old bastard! You've been lying to us all this time! That Wukong you knew will never return. But what made him remains. The universe will always bear him a successor. One who shall carry on his name and nature. This chosen successor is the destined one. Mm -hmm. Nameless you were, yet perils and mighty foes you've braved to recover his relics. Your will now stands resolute, worthy of his power. You mean this boy is to take Wukong's name? He's not! Son Wukong is long gone! <sighs> Magia, deep down, you know he wasn't all that perfect. <clears throat> now that he is dead, this one, perhaps, shall bear the name in his stead. That was awesome. Here, we can venture forth with you no further. This task is yours alone. Sun Wukong left behind a broken shell, stripped of all his six senses. Though ages have passed, it maintains a connection attuned to the echoes of his former self. If you truly are the one destined, you must cast aside his soulless shell and merge the six into one. Then, 
you shall be the one to begin the journey anew. No, not on his own. He's just a kid who knows nothing. I'll go with him. This place is shaped by Wukong's lingering obsession. It allows only his relic bearer to face the final ordeal. We can escort him no more. See it for yourself. Hear me, son! You can always run! You don't have to bear Wukong's name! This is epic, man. Stone monkey, huh? I got one of those too. Oh god. Grab me. Oh god. He's doing the incredible Hulk thing to me. Jeez. Phase two, no doubt. Oh, I forgot I still have the Earth Wolf on. Oh God! Please, sir, not the gram. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, God. Oh, please, sir. Not that. That's twice now gun to do my heavy attack and wasn't able to. Oh god, not again.
I think it might have been, actually. <laughs> that's a, that's my bad. Two of them? What the heck? Again with the ground. on, man. Stop with the AoEs? Holy shit. Again? should hopefully make it here. There we go. Jeez. Almost didn't make that.
shit. Yo, look at this. That was awesome. He's quick too, holy shit. Why can't I do that? Oh god. Phase two, holy crap.
hell is he doing? Oh, he's taking all the relics. Oh my gosh. Taking my gourd. Seriously. Did he just heal from my gourd? God. <laughs> I'm not a ping pong ball, bro. Don't be taunting me, bro. Oh, God. Holy crap. This is gonna take a while.
gotta be kidding.
Yes! Oh, I didn't think I could do that. Whew. Started doubting myself. Better not have another phase, bro. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> we got nothing left in the tank. You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tung Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the west. Wow. Some say that the journey never happened. Wow. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now... You will hear a tale which no one has ever known. Does it matter if you become a Buddha? That headband has always been on your head. <laughs> Keep those eyes wide open. Watch me rip it off. And break free! Soon will come. When you defied the Celestial Court, I had to seal you beneath the mountains with my immense power. Yet, after enduring punishment, you embraced the dark, uplifted good against evil, and subdued Yao Guais throughout the journey. For your contribution, I now bestow upon you the title of Victorious Fighting Buddha. He defied the Celestial Court, and the Jade Emperor imposed three ordeals. Only when the chicken finishes pecking the rice, the dog laps up the flowers, and the lamp burns through the key, the ring will...
What a game. It was absolutely fantastic. Incredible. But uh, I will surely have a full review coming out for this. Um, but, I mean, as any anybody can probably guess already what my score is going to be. Because <laughs> I, I really did enjoy this a lot. Um, well worth the four-year wait and uh, just ex absolutely ex exceeded all of my expectations um, in every possible way. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was fantastic. I, I was a little worried with the final boss fight. I did uh, I did switch the armor uh, to the uh, the golden set uh, just so I could spam skills and whatnot. Um, I don't know if that essentially really helped in the end, uh, but. We got it done, barely, I mean, I laid everything out on the table. So, if that last uh, heavy thrust didn't hit, I, I was probably dead, I don't know. <laughs> so, but, uh, let's skip that. I hate to skip the credits, but... Yeah, there is um, there is plenty more stuff to unlock in New Game Plus. Uh, personally, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. Um, I don't know. Maybe down the line, revisit it. The Destined One. You can now enter a new cycle and embark once again on the extraordinary journey to the West. In this new cycle, you will inherit levels, talents, armors, weapons, spells, vessels, transformations, spirit skills obtained in the previous cycle. However, be aware that story progress and the related key items shall be relinquished. Prepare yourself for the adversaries you shall encounter. On this expedition, you will pose even greater challenges. Oh, I am sure. So yeah, um, you can, I guess you can unlock uh, new weapons and, uh, you know, it, all progression based as you you know go through more new game plus cycles um, better armor better weapons uh, upgrades to the ones that are already there um, and continue you know filling out that skill tree which for first playthrough I think uh, we did a good job filling that out so but we are gonna leave it here this has been a fantastic series and I want to thank you all for being on the on the ride with me this incredible ride um, so thanks to each and every single one of you. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you're doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.